Why has the institution of the prison managed to attach itself to the very idea of democracy, at least in its US manifestation? To what extent is imprisonment a racialization process that insinuates racial and gender and sexual inequalities into the very heart of liberal democracy? To pose these questions is also to interrogate the prospects for a viable 21st century abolition campaign. And it has never been enough simply to propose evidence of the prison's failure and to hope that these indisputable facts will initiate the prison's decline. As naturalized as it may be, the prison will definitely not die a natural death.